Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mario. I uh, want to mention, hey, guys, the election is here. It's, it's, it's getting uh, pretty wild out there. The market is continuing to sell off. A lot of uncertainty tomorrow regarding the election. Uh, don't forget to get out there and vote. Uh, now, I'm going to explain to you how the election is affecting the market. I'm going to go over some market fundamentals and going to go over some trades and how I was able to capitalize on that um, negative sentiment over the market. Uh, I did have the opportunity to short sell uh, Facebook and Twitter. And I'm going to talk about why I shorted those two companies and how I'm able to capitalize on that uh, on the downside. So tomorrow, uh, there is a huge uh, election. And that has caused overall market uh, uh, volatility. Uh, companies, uh, especially in Facebook and Twitter, any social media uh, space have been affected severely because there might also be, uh, not only because they're, they're high beta, but they're also in the industry that might be regulated. There's been a lot of misinformation out there in the internet, especially in social media that have caused uh, a lot of social unrest, uh, protests, riots in the last couple of months. Uh, so uh, my point of view is that I really believe they're going to get uh, regulated very, very soon. Um, and I'm going to explain to you that how I was able to capitalize on that, uh, on these trades. So uh, let's get started. Let me, let me share my screen. Now, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you find any value. Uh, let's get started, guys. Uh, let me share my screen and talk about that. Okay, so uh, why did I decide to short um, Twitter and Facebook? Uh, well, before I go there, I want to go over market fundamentals. Uh, now, the market has been selling off since uh, last week. It started October 16, 26, excuse me. It broke over this key level, this 340. And the VIX just had a hu humongous spike on that same day. Uh, so when you kind of see those type of moves in the market, you know, that kind of gives you a, a telltale sign, a red flag. Hey, we might get a, a bigger sell-off. So especially when volatility is that high, high beta stocks like Facebook and Twitter tend to get hit. Um, and that's pretty much what happened, um, you know, even during those days. You know, if you look at October 26, uh, Facebook had a huge, huge uh, sell-off. Now, why did I trade uh, Facebook and Twitter today? Uh, great question. So if you go, if you zoom into uh, Facebook's uh, uh, chart, especially uh, on Friday, they did report earnings, but if you look at their earnings after they reported, uh, they had humongous sell volume. You know, even though they had a really good earnings report and they actually beat earnings, the estimate was uh, 1.94 uh, earnings per share and they actually reported 2.71 earnings per share. So they actually beat, they actually exceeded earnings uh, by why the sell off? You know, one, they're high beta, they're moving with the market, and two, the social media industry right now is in, in deep scrutiny with the with the, the Congress. You know, they've actually had hearings a, a couple days ago and most likely they're gonna get there regulated. Uh, and the reason why is because they've been um, accused of misinformation, spreading misinformation, or their platforms have been used to, to spread a lot of misinformation. Uh, and that mis misinformation is dangerous. It really is dangerous. You know, it's caused a lot of um, social unrest uh, in terms of uh, protests, uh, and riots and, and it could make things worse and tomorrow we have the election uh, so things could get a little uh, tricky out there guys so who knows what's going to happen tomorrow guys stay safe i hope you guys had a chance to uh, vote early for mail uh, so uh, we're going to see tomorrow the markets how they're affected through that so let's cover uh, facebook and how it traded so i was looking for a low-hanging fruit uh, trade on, on facebook today uh, after this huge sell-off i was looking for a pop in the morning uh, to kind of get short uh, so we had a huge spike in the morning, and that's what I was uh, kind of expecting. Uh, now, when it comes down to shorting, especially on low-hanging fruit uh, trades uh, in the morning, especially front side, I always look to, to have a lot of big range, a lot of flexibility, and I only look to add on key levels. The first key level was the midpoint, which is 266, uh, 2630, 266, and, I, and I, now I actually rounded now to 266. So I had a starter size there, and my next entry was going to be 270. So that was my second, uh, my second ad, and I had actually another one here at 273, but it didn't get to that, it didn't get to that level. Now a lot of tr new traders tend to make the mistake of of kind of like you know uh, put in their starter and then keep adding, adding front side, and they get squeezed out. So I only, uh, I only uh, go full size or, or or go really big on confirmation. 
Uh, but since it kind of, and this, this time around, since it kind of hit my initial entries at the, the right level that I wanted. So there was no really reason for me to kind of even go even bigger. Uh, but once it got, once I noticed that the, well, of course, once I got in, once I noticed that the market was starting to kind of turn around and start a downtrend, especially the NASDAQ. Now let me show you, uh, let's try the NASDAQ. I started, started to start taking some prof, uh, profits. So if you, you see the NASDAQ double topped here um, and it started to kind of downtrend and uh, down came with uh, Facebook. So I took the, my first, uh, took half of my profits here, the 266.30 level, the midpoint. Um, my next level was 264.60, which is uh, close to the, um, good close to the uh with the opening line and uh the next line was 264 and uh my next line was 262 all the way down to 260. so all these line guys i get these lines from uh intraday uh support and resistance levels so based on the prior days intraday chart so these are where i get my lines and um and that's where i, I like to cover so i go to line to line and that was pretty much it on, on, on facebook so hopefully that kind of makes sense now twitter Pretty much same thing, thing as uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, they had an earnings report on Friday, huge sell-off. Again, uh, social media space is, 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 is getting hit. Uh, not only that, but it's also high beta. Uh, and one thing that I was actually kind of surprised about Twitter is that we didn't get a bigger spike. So I was actually anticipating a bigger spike to the midpoint here at 4250s around the area and even higher, but we didn't. So my thought process was like okay so we didn't we didn't we we kind of got you know stuffed here in, in the 4140 area and kind of pulled back so the way i saw it, i was like okay so i'm going to look for consolidation i'm going to wait for consolidation for it to kind of move around do its thing and i'm going to try to kind of start getting slowly add in a little by little and and go full size and confirmation uh so that's literally what i what, what i did so if you guys you can see this downtrend based in the pre-market. It was holding. It was holding. Now it, it did kind of break off here, but it literally sold off right away. But it was holding. And the reason why I actually decided to kind of get in here on this level, uh, two six two uh, forty uh, sixty areas, because we had this big spike in the morning, and it literally got rejected. Huge stuff, and it went uh, below VWAP. And it started to consolidate and I felt, you know what, if it breaks below uh, 40, 60, I'm going to get in. So it broke and I got in. Now it kind of did pull back, but this 41 level was a very important uh, intraday resistance and it held. I, I actually really liked that and it was holding that, that trend. So now I was looking for to see it was going to create lower lows. It uh, broke below this uh, 40, 40. I, when it, once it broke, I added again. It kind of pulled back, but it consolidated. And I felt if it breaks this uh, below 40 to 40 again, I'm gonna go full size. This is gonna start downtrending. And the reason why was because the NASDAQ was starting to sell already. You see that? NASDAQ was already downtrending. So I, I had a feeling, you know what? This is gonna this is gonna start selling. So I did add and I go and went full size. My first cover was 40. And the reason why I, I, I um, had a 40 as an important line, because if you look at a daily chart, the 40 level is right here, very, very important a support level in the daily chart. So I added my first cover here. Um, my second cover was gonna be here in the first pivot, S1 pivot, uh, but it kind of bounced around. It had a little uh, little bounce here. That I, 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 you know, I really don't like these wicks because sometimes they do the pounds and, and pull back all the way to VWAP. So I got a little nervous, decided to take another half. You know, it doesn't hurt to take more profits. I held the rest. It finally pulled back to pivot. I took my second half. I let it bounce around. It was consolidating, consolidating, and I this and it kind of broke below that. My my actually my my next level was gonna be 39.50, but it went it broke below that below 39.60. It bounced again, and I was like, dude, I don't wanna I, I wanna take some profits off the table again. I took some more. It finally pulled back again, again the third 39.60 held. I took some more profits, um, and then finally, finally. If it, it broke into a 3950 and I took some more. But once it kind of broke 3950, it literally kind of just started to kind of accelerate a sell off. So I kind of started to take, a, you know, a little bit more shares on, on the, you know, every like 20 cents. So I took some more here at 3930, took some more here at 3920. And I was actually looking for a, a move to 39. 
uh, but it, it almost got there uh, and I kind of it almost got there. I think the low of this uh, time frame was uh, 3902. So I missed my entry by like two cents, but I was okay. You know, I'm like, you know what, whatever. I pretty much already maximized this trade. Uh, so when I saw a little bounce there, I took took some more off and then I had my, my I really tight stop on the rest at 3922 and I, and, I, and I got stopped out. And the reason why I started to do that was because the market was already kind of bouncing. And that was, it was around, I think it was around this area right here when I saw the market kind of bounce. So that pretty much explains this trades, guys. Um, overall, guys, this has to do a lot with the elections, of course. Um, and not only that, but specifically in the social media industry, there might be some regulation coming very soon. Again, social media has been accused of spreading misinformation. And, and again, a lot of that misinformation has been manipulating a lot of people to vote a certain way, either left or right. It doesn't matter. Uh, misinformation is completely uh, not good for a uh, society because it could cause a lot of tensions. That's why we've seen a lot of, uh, because um, we've seen a lot of, um, uh, you know, uh, riots and protests the last couple months, you know, it's like adding fuel to the fire. Uh, so that's, that's not good guys. And that's not good at all. So I, I could see a regulation coming very soon. So, Hey guys, tomorrow's the election. I hope you get a chance to vote. I hope you voted early, stay safe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel if you learn something. Have a good one, guys. Till next time.